Hello again, everybody. Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief from Motherboards.org. As everyone knows, today Intel launches their new i5 platform. This platform includes new CPUs and new chipsets to support them. Today, we take a look at two of those CPUs, the new Intel i7-870 and the new i5-750, along with the new motherboard, the DP55KG. Follow along as we show you the new features of both these CPUs and this new chipset. Here are some pictures of both the i7, 870 and i5-750 CPUs. And here is also a shot of the bottom of the CPUs that mounts into the ZIF socket. The Core i7-870 CPU is roughly equivalent in pricing and clock speeds to the Core i7-940. The clock speed of this new CPU will be 2.93 GHz with a maximum turbo boost speed of 3.6 GHz. There will be two 8-series CPUs on the Linfield family this quarter, the 870 and the 860 which is a clock speed of 2.8 GHz. Each of these CPUs has four processor cores. The 8-series CPUs has hyperthreading, meaning that the processor can work on two threads simultaneously. Windows reports seeing eight active cores on the new 8-series processors. The Core i5-750 CPU is one of the new i5 series CPUs. The main difference between the Core i5-750 and the Core i7-870 is the lack of hyperthreading on the 750. There are four processor cores, but each core can operate only on a single thread at a time instead of the two on the 870. The maximum turbo boost clock speed on the 750 is 3.2 GHz, or roughly equivalent in clock speeds to the QX9770 in turbo boost mode. The lack of hyperthreading will be apparent in the multitasking environment and in circumstances where the program relies heavily on the CPU's multi-core technology. The Linfield family is based upon the already released Neolim architecture with some modification to the LGA1156 interface. The first difference between a Neolim and a Linfield processor is it uses the DMI, Direct Media Interface, to link to the P55 Express chipset instead of the QPI, Quick Path Interconnect, which is found on earlier Neolim CPUs. The Quick Path Interconnect provides bandwidth up to 25.6 gigabytes a second to the chipset from the CPU. The DMI provides up to 10. gigabytes a second bandwidth, which is slightly slower. Earlier platforms required a CPU, a memory controller hub, the North Bridge, and a South Bridge. On the P55 Express platform, all the functionality of the North Bridge is taken over by the CPU, and the South Bridge has been replaced by the Platform Controller Hub. This reduces cost to the manufacturer, and we'll see retail boards being under the $100 range for this change. Previous Intel CPUs had something called Turbo Mode. Turbo Mode overclocked the Intel CPU by 133 MHz or 266 MHz depending on the temperatures of the CPU, the load system, and the voltages. While the system worked, Turbo Mode only offered a 5-10% to 10 increase in performance versus the standard clock speeds. With the Linfield family, Intel reuses a new mode, Turbo Boost. Turbo Boost increases the clock speed of the CPU. Our new test system features the new Intel motherboard and 4GB of Kingston DDR3 memory. Well, the numbers are in, and Intel didn't disappoint. The new i5 platform is something very interesting. For those people wanting to get into this new i5 platform, the i5-750 CPU is very well priced at around $263. The i7 is priced at around $562. The main difference between the two CPUs is that one has hyper-threading and the other does not. But overall, the new i5 platform has a lot to offer. If you want something that won't break the bank, but something that also offers new architecture, 
The new i5 and the new CPUs might be something you're looking for.